Our region's had a pretty good run the past five years. We were among the first regions in the country to fully recover from the Great Recession. Our housing prices held up better than most, and our labor force and employment are at or near record levels. Yet there are signs that the party may be coming to an end. Not that we're in decline, it's just that our relative performance isn't looking quite as good these days. Uh, the regional indicators spells it out in their annual report, Pittsburgh Today and Tomorrow. And Doug Hoyk is back with us to talk about it. He's director of the indicators and publisher of Pittsburgh Quarterly. Welcome. Good to see you again. Thank you very much, Bill. Yeah, so this is becoming a, an annual thing for the indicators to really sort of sum it up. How we're yeah. doing. This is the third year we've done it, and the idea really is that in order to know where you're going, you have to know where you are. So we have we have in this report, which I hope if people are interested in really knowing what's going on around here, they'll it's available at pittsburghtoday.org. We have some 25 stories in depth, very well written by Jeff Fraser, um, looking at 11 different categories. Um, some, we've got a bunch of statistics, but a lot of very readable stories. And, and I think you're right. The idea is that for the last five years or so, we've been a relative anomaly among the benchmark regions we look at in terms of job growth, in terms of relative uh, economic stability. And things have slowed recently. Um, our unemployment rate is, uh, is, is about average. Uh, the job growth continues, but at relatively a very slow pace. And with this, as you mentioned, the labor force growth, you know, we still have relatively uh, a number of people unemployed. Yeah, a lot of people still looking for work yeah. around the region. I mean, anything really strike you out of this year's summary that surprised you a little bit about what's going on? We had a big uh, report on how the African-American community is doing based on our survey about a year ago. And even though I was aware that there were differences, the uh, the differences were starker than I had been aware the of. The economic disparity yeah. is pretty striking. Unemployment rate about double. Um, hardship paying bills uh, two or three times more. Um, there's, there are a number of interesting stories. We, we, we've, uh, we're in compliance with uh, clean air standards for the first mm -hmm. time, though that may not last much longer because they're going to be ratcheting that up. A um, number of interesting stories. The most interesting ones to me looked at some of the, uh, the innovation that's going on around here. We have a story on this outfit called the Jail Collaborative which with recidivism, recidivism being very high and of course being very costly and helping nobody, um, Fred Tiemann and a bunch of others got together and they- Fred Tiemann and the Buell Foundation, yeah, right. Got together and they put together a group saying, you know, gee, can't we do this better? And so when somebody gets out of the jail, there's a whole kind of framework and they're finding that they're cutting recidivism considerably. Hmm. So that was one interesting one. Another was uh, this whole Traffic 21 initiative. Really exciting potential there. I don't oh, know yeah. how many people are really aware of how, how, how well that seems to be going. Well, Henry Hillman got together with, um, with Jerry Cohen, the retiring CMU president, and they brought Rick Stafford in to run it. And the idea is traffic is important. It's something we all face. Can't we do it better with all this technology? And they have such things as smart traffic lights where you don't wait you know, it, it kind of eliminates or reduces congestion. They're sort of adjusting for where the congestion is happening in real yeah. time, right? Yeah. yeah, it's, you know, like a Jetsons kind of thing <laughs> um, for those of us old enough to remember. And so it reduces congestion, it reduces air pollution, and there's, it's really only the beginning. The idea there is to uh, not only make things life better for us here, but also to really create an industry. So there are a lot of exciting things happening. Um, we certainly have the mayor's race. A lot of the plans that you know were coming to fruition in these days were plans that were set long ago, and um, it'll be important with this new mayoral election to get somebody in there who's going to be laying some more plans for us. Well, and it really is. This is kind of a turning point for the region. Yeah. I think we're, what, 30, 30 years since we hit rock bottom, so this is kind of a coming of age. It's been about a generation, but it does beg the question, you know, where are we headed? What do we want to be when we grow up? And I guess the indicators give us the baseline, right? We, we could actually look at this and sort of measure how well we're doing across sure. a lot of different areas. We have 11 different categories and some three to 500 different benchmarks, depending on how you look at it. And that really is the idea. We started it years ago at the Post-Gazette, and then John Craig, uh, when he retired, kind of revamped it with a lot of foundation help, and we, it's you know bigger and better. So we have all these statistics at pittsburghtoday.org, and if you really want to get a sense of how the pieces come together, I recommend that people go there. Yeah, and it was interesting, too, because uh, you mentioned the last five years and how well we've done. I've heard some folks in the civic leaders in town say, you know what, we've turned the corner. 
we're going to start moving in the right direction. We can we can rest a little bit easier now. I think one of the lessons in this year's summer is there's still plenty to work on here in, in the Pittsburgh region. Very much so. Um, and you know, as soon as you start resting on your laurels, you know, the fact is you fall behind. So there, the good news is there's a lot of brain power here. We'll have hopefully governmental you know strength um, working together. Um, we're seeing some, some progress even on the municipal consol consolidation front. Um, perhaps some of that is simply financially inspired. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of good things, but um, you know, every other region is working hard to lift itself up. And relatively speaking, some of them are starting to grow faster again than we are. All right, and if you want to find a copy, uh, the magazine's still in the newsstands, but it's online as well, right? Pittsburgh Quarterly's on newsstands, but uh, again, the whole report is at pittsburghtoday.org, too. All right, Doug Hoy from the Regional Indicators. Thank you so much. Thanks, Appreciate Bill. Good to see you again. And we'll be back in a minute with a little dollars and cents. Stay with us.